This is Sibren Otto, a chemistry researcher from Groningen. A while ago, he and his research group discovered molecules that can reproduce. Start out with a handful, and after a while, you've got twice as many. A bit later, there are four times as many, and so on. There are even different kinds of reproducing molecules that compete for building blocks. That looks exactly like animals competing for food, Otto thought. Now he wants to trick molecules into real evolution. You know, the Charles Darwin kind of evolution that all living organisms have been going through for some four billion years. Who knows, his research might one day result in some kind of chemical life form. It all started with a pot of pretty simple molecules able to couple on two sides. Also, they have a little tail that exactly fits the tail of the other molecules. The idea was that this would help creating some structure. And so it did. The molecules hook up and form rings, counting six, seven or eight molecules each. And as the tails fit onto each other, so do the rings. A six ring fits a six ring, a seven ring fits a seven ring, and so on. Stacks of rings become towers, towers become long threads. If you stir the pot, the threads will break apart but each piece will start to grow again, from both ends. Soon, Otto's pots were teeming with small threads of molecules. However, in real evolution, species also change when they reproduce every once in a while. A mutation causes a child to be slightly different from its parents. Mm. So Otto's students started working with several different tails that might sometimes not fit together so well. When the molecules stack, mistakes happen. These errors may cause the thread to grow faster, or to stop growing, or to grow into complicated shapes, or to do something else yet. In fact, Otto doesn't know, because this is what his students are finding out now. In any case, Otto spots are brewing. The question is, when can it be considered life? Otto thinks there is a grey area between really alive or really dead. But when it waves at us and says hello, you can be pretty sure it's alive. <laughs>